Hi, I'm Scott Tolley, a product manager on the Black Belt Polaris team, and I'm keen to show you how you can get started taking advantage of the AI capabilities on the platform via Polaris Assist. Every developer is striving to deliver software that is as secure as possible, as quickly as possible. So can AI help us with these seemingly contradictory goals? Absolutely. Uh, Polaris Assist, which is currently in beta, harnesses the power of large language models in order to help you, first of all, to understand the static analysis findings that you're seeing as quickly as possible, but also to suggest fixes to help you remediate those issues as quickly as possible. Let's take a look at how you can do exactly that. So here I'm looking at a DOM-based cross-site scripting finding. Now, maybe uh, you're like me and you know what cross-site scripting is, but your knowledge of the jQuery library in the JavaScript language is not exactly current. So I could hit the books, I could check out the documentation and work out what all this means and how I should fix this problem, or I could take advantage of a an application security AI coach, which can help me out with some, some information about what this really means and what I should do about it. So first of all, it's gonna give me a summary of what the issue is at the core and then explain step by step what that code was actually doing and finally the fact that this comes down to the fact that some untrusted user data is being appended to the dom without proper sanitization okay so what do i do about that well it's also going to give me a suggestion of a change which would remediate the issue now this feature is available to all users um, but it is not enabled by default. So if you want to start taking advantage of Polaris Assist, you'll need to go to My Organization and General Settings. And finally, there's an option to enable this beta feature in your own organization. So you will need organization level admin privileges to do this. If you're at all concerned about the architecture of Polaris Assist, um, you can read in the documentation, there's a link here about how this is organized and how we make sure that this is safe for you to use. So to summarize, you can turn on Polaris Assist for your organization in the My Organization general settings, and that's going to give you AI generated guidance to help you understand the issues, the context in the code and get started on this. So we fix it as quickly as possible. Now be fast, that's the goal, but also stay safe. Polaris Assist uses a private LLM service and none of your code nor the Polaris Assist output is going to be retained or used for training our models or anybody else's for that matter. And if you'd like to know anything more about the rest of the Polaris platform, including Polaris Assist, head on over to blackduck.com slash Polaris.